everybody welcome to a brand new video all about blanks block party and for today we're going to talk about blanks block party nft price listings from the puzzle and glow party pass so if you are new to this community click the subscription button so that you're going to be notified of our future videos and if you want to know more about the price listings just keep on watching okay so first things first a little bit about our community so our small youtube channel is slowly growing so I just want to give a few quick shout outs to our subscribers and commenters. Um, first of all, we have here Joa Kim, Nate Montalana. Um, sorry if I don't know how to read your name completely. Um, Joa Kim said, this vid makes me want to buy clown. Kaso ang taas na ng mint. Though worth it pa rin ba? Kunin or antayin, or antayin ng new blanco. So basically he said here, um, this vid makes me want to buy clown. However, the mint number are already high though is it still worth it to buy the clown nft or to wait for a new blanco on the upcoming updates so for this one here um if you really want clown just go for it don't mind the mint number because um, eventually it will still have its value and if you're going to keep it on your collection there's no sense i think on minding the mint number however if you wanted to if you want to go for the higher mints i I suggest that wait for the Pug Life release, which would be on September 15th, okay? Thank you for commenting. And next would be Francisco Mendoza. So, um, he have this comment on my unboxing video, which you can check on your screen. I'll leave it on the description as well. Unbox lang ng unbox, haha. <laughs> so, he said here, just keep on unboxing Blancos. We'll try our best on unboxing more Blancos. However, we are short of funds. Any sponsor? Any sponsor? Anyway? <laughs> So uh, last but not the least, we have Philip Morales who have been supporting our channel ever since. Thank you for commenting as always. Philip Baranes. And I think that is it for our community. So by the way guys, just a quick disclaimer before we proceed. Mythical Marketplace and the Blancos Block Party Marketplace is not yet available on the whole world or globally. So if you, if you already have these NFTs yet, they are not yet available for you to be sold if you are one of me, which is on Southeast Asia and is residing on the country of Philippines. So right now, I highly suggest just keep on grinding your items because currently we are still just on early access. So um, imagine if the game proceeds to Season 0, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 and the market goes live for uh, globally. Just imagine the possible price listings of your items, okay? So uh, let's proceed with the possible price listings, okay? Everyone is excited talking about numbers. Alright, so um, here we have it. So the very first um, NFT that you're going to collect on the Party Pass, on Hustle & Glow Party Pass, would be the Neon Prong Bracelet. So um, the Neon Prong Bracelet is one of the easiest, I mean, I'm sorry for that type of understatement. Saying easy is such an utter understatement, especially if you are the ones that are aiming for lower mints because hustling low party pass requires a lot of time and a lot of grinding. So, um, there's this one time that I stay awoke for like 26 hours just grinding all of the season challenges and I'm telling you guys, these challenges are not easy at all. So um, right here, I have Neon Prong Bracelet mint number 167 my neon prong bracelet i have been minted with a generous amount of 167 so upon checking the prices here um the prices are not that high so they range around 13 15 to 10 usd dollars up to seven dollars so that is really low so um ho however this is this always depends on the mint number that you have okay so since i have the mint 167 let's check for the other prices okay The mint, the number of minted items of the Neon Prong Bracelet is 3,268 minted items. So here are the pricing for the earlier mints. So number one mint have an exaggerated price of 12,000 USD dollars. I mean, this is not an exaggeration. However, of course, it requires a lot of grinding. However, I think this is a little bit too much pricey, in my opinion. However, um, for my NFT here. The pricing would be around uh, 167. So, 
upon checking uh, a little bit about these numbers here the I think my my NFT here would probably would much would probably cost around um, I think thirty dollars forty so yeah that that is just speculation because upon checking here mint number 110 is 50 usd so uh i'd go around so maybe 67 i mean 30 or 20 usd so that, i think that's not bad for a for the first nft 20 usd dollars and for the lowest mint buy you can buy the or the i mean lowest i mean for the higher mints you can buy as cheap as much as cheap as around 10 to 7 dollars okay so next item we have the body bag okay let's search for that item here we have the electric green cross body bag there's only 2455 available means for this item and much further items would be available for the um upcoming new mints for the grind for the current grinding players on game so for this one i think the price is much higher so for this item here the prices would range around for 35 usd up unto i mean starting from 10 usd up unto 35 usd dollars okay so i have the generous mint number of 117 so mint number 117 usd would range around there, there are some items here yeah so most probably around 120 usd dollars so that's really good however um prices are always subject to change like for example here this the 150th mint is sold for only 30 usd dollars okay so don't speculate too much about the price always changes so we have here again 30 usd dollars for mint 100 so um, i'd say for the electric for the electric green cross body bag it would cost around um if you have lower mints it depends on your mint but for a hundred mints below it can range around 100 usd dollars and much more higher so for the lowest mints you can buy it as much as or sell it for 10 usd dollars respectively okay the next item that we have on the list would be the uh, incandescent shades here we go for the incandescent shades the stakes are being higher and harder for the challenges there are only 1570 means available for this nft here and for this item the prices are also getting higher by one dollar um of course this is always subject to change so price starts at as much as low as 11 usd dollars up unto 30 based on the market of the month of september and here are the prices here mint number one would be for 5500 usd that is always subject to change and i have the mint number 74 and for my item here it ranges around 90 how much is this 95 dollars so most probably a hundred dollars or more it always depends on how much would you want to sell your item okay so you have here the price listings for 100 USD dollars. So for my mint, for my mint, which is 74, it would range around 100 USD. And for the lower mints, it would cost you as much as only 11 USD dollars. Or if you sold it in future, it always depends on the number of items available on the market, on the demand, and how much would you want to sell it. Okay. So for the next item, and actually the last, we have here is the UV sneakers. So these bad boys here cost so much because grinding these UV sneakers 
it's so hard, man. The second, the second set of challenges in the, I mean, of the season pass, season challenges are so hard to execute. Like, um, oh, I'm sorry. Like, they're still hard, but however, you only have to like place like in third place in shooting, vibe collector, race, and etc. So, I'm I'm saying that it's hard because it's in the lower ends of the um, party pass challenges because if you're on if you're progressing on the challenges lower and lower people co- could could grind all of these challenges because if you miss like if you miss some daily challenges you can still get the other nft items a- until up to cabinet man however there are more less people that are being able to grind the daily quest since you know they might have their jobs or they're too tired so me, I can grind every day since I'm still on college and I still have a lot of my time just staying at home, especially it's the pandemic right now. So I pretty much have a lot of time on grinding these items, especially having the lower mints. So uh, yeah, that's why the UV sneakers is much more expensive and you gotta expect that on the upcoming other nfts like the the beanie nft and the um the wings are would be significantly much more expensive and of course for the last reward which is cabinet man okay so for the uv sneakers there would be 816 available mints as of this time price listings would be given here so really this is a still here right here guys so if you have the money buy this item here number six mint is only for 320 dollars and your others would be for 800 bucks you also have the other the earlier mints here for 3000 usd which is a lot, much more expensive of course and for my mint number 200 you'll have it priced at around so for myself i'll the the price range from around 200 i mean for 100 bucks but of course it depends on how much would i want to sell it you have here for 275 usd for number seven men so prices are always subject subject to change but upon checking on the trends on the market the price would start at around 22 usd up until 35 dollars and depends on the latest trades here so you can base your pricing here so i highly suggest hold your items as of now early access and maybe you sell it around season three or whenever the price would be appreciated or when the global market would be open okay so um as of now guys um since i have all of these nfts here i'm going to show you later on the uh, how would they look on my on your nft okay so as of now guys i want to tell you that just keep on grinding these nfts because they are really worth it as time pass by so just like in crypto hold your items or your currency in this game your nft so that the prices would be much more appreciated as time pass by so just think about season three or the as time pass by and the season pass by your nfts would be much more appreciated and much more expensive in the future Okay, so um, let me show you guys the NFTs in-game equipped on my clown NFT, okay? Oh, hey guys, right now we are here on my shelf and this is my clown NFT with the accessories of the Hustle & Glow Party Pass. So I have here my... Here are the incandescent shades, the neon prong bracelet, the electric body bag, and the UV sneakers respectively right now i still can't equip my my shoes because i can still uh, because i would be able to unlock it at excellent level 3 so as of now i'm still at good level 4 but i'm grinding my way up to excellent okay so um there it is very cool oh yeah and right now, if you're aware or curious on my party pass challenges, here are my challenges. The only challenge that I have not yet grinded is the grid of excellent, which is I am currently grinding. 
Okay. And the upcoming party pass NFTs would be Lost Your Buckle Beanie, which will be available for 336. And you haven't, and if you haven't missed any challenges at all, your current standing would be 306. And if you have finished this one, it would be up to around 321. Okay. And for the next NFT as well would be Hustle and Glow Glider for 420. Nice. And for the last would be Cabinet Man. So there you have it for the party pass and my Blanco Clown NFT accessories. Okay. So that is it for the Hustle and Glow Party Pass accessories. So I highly suggest guys that keep on hustling and bustling. You got it? <laughs> hustling and glowing, uh, I'd say, because of the party pass. You get me? Oh my god, that, it's not helping at all. However, guys, that is it for our video for the day. If you enjoyed our video, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas. And maybe in the future, you'll be mentioned or will be given a shout out since our community is still small and is still growing okay and as for me guys i'll see you guys later i'll keep on grinding keep on grinding as well bye for now